It is a really cold, windy, rainy, yucky day today. So I'm looking forward to getting here and getting warm. And of course, first thing is, we pick out our lucky cart. Empty box. Oh, do you see what I see? It's got a nice patina on it. It's pageant. Holmes and Edwards super plate. Oh, it's super plate. Excuse me. And then there was some celery. Hey there. It's Danny Ackerman, the niche lady. I am here at another Goodwill. Another night, another Goodwill. <sighs> yes, I'm into the evening shopping these days after working all day down at the Good Stuff thrift store. Uh, it's the only time that I have, but that's okay. I don't mind. They are still putting good stuff out on the shelves at this time of night. I am gonna go in and see what they have put on those shelves. Uh, for those who may not have heard, I am ramping my eBay store back up. So be watching for that. My goal is to have new eBay listings up and running by next Tuesday. I'm gonna give myself one week to get it all together. My office got painted today. I'm going to get it all cleaned up tomorrow. I like, I've got a plan of action and we're gonna make it all happen. And so I will be functional and ready to move forward with eBay listings once again. So be watching for that. So now, without further ado, I am going to get into this Goodwill and see what I can find. Let's get shop done. It is a really cold, windy, rainy, yucky day today. So I'm looking forward to getting here and getting warm. And of course, first thing is, we pick out our lucky cart. Our lucky cart, I feel like it's this one right here. Oh, it rolls nice too. It's this one. New color is blue. Blue is a new. Oh, there was some stuff at the at the Goodwill last night that was blue. That uh oh, I did not. This cart, this cart is no good. This cart has a kind of a boo boo. Didn't come down. Yeah. All right, let's go with this cart. Oh no, that one doesn't roll. All right, let's find a cart that rolls. All right, this one. This one rolls, but it's got oh, got trash in it. Okay, we'll go with this one. There we go. Switching up on the lucky carts. We're switching it up. Oh goodness. Yeah, I might I might have to jump back over to my other store and see. This looks very mid-century. G E or G N S or G E S ceramic. It is $7.99. I feel like I could get, you know, $18 to $20 for the the groovy 60s orange glaze. So you know what? I think that'll be the first thing in the cart. These are interesting. Who makes you? It doesn't say. Sometimes it's around. Oh, look, TMS 2002, which that is, uh, we call that Etsy vintage, Etsy vintage. I do like that. How much is that? 20 bucks. Ooh, I don't like it for 20 bucks. That's a bookmark. And that is a bookmark. Again, TMS. So I wonder if that's meant to go with that. Is that no, because that doesn't quite look like a bookmark. I don't know. I don't know. But $20, too much for me as a reseller. It's interesting too, but we will keep looking. Let's see what else we got. We got a, what? Okay, that's a little oddly put together. Oh, hello, pretty little dragonfly. I have some viewers who really, really love dragonflies. I mean, this isn't like any like high-end thing. It was $14.99 when it was new. Floral Inspirations, and that one's six. So oh, I'm torn, I'm torn. I feel like it's worth 15 to 20 though. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the dragonfly. Gotta remember those new prices that are on there. We don't know when it was sold at that price. We also know that everything is more expensive now, so. That's a threshold candle holder. What's in there? Little little trolley car. Avon, not for food use. Not a big fan of the not for food use. This looks like an older piece, but not that old. 
That looks like Bristol glass. Ooh, $15. Mm. Unfortunately, it's not a high-end glass, Bristol. do like it, but these are, or at least that one, is from a cone snail. These can be deadly. You gotta, you gotta be careful if you mess with these. This is just a regular little, I think that's a trochodarus snail. At least, see, I'm so proud of myself. I've learned my little snails. So these are cool. I like these for $2.99. Those may go in my bathroom. And this one's also really pretty. It's like a little baby conch shell. It is a little baby conch shell. His life got cut off far too soon. All right, we'll get that one too. I did see this decanter here. I'm not a big decanter purchaser. Made in Taiwan, so it's vintage. It's very lightweight. Not super high quality, and it is $10. So for those reasons, we're going to leave it. All right, let's see what else we got on the little tchotchke shelves tonight. Some glass candle holders, a Luxor vase. Yeah, nothing, nothing that we need to put in our cart tonight. Oh goodness, there is a very, very unhappy child at the checkout counter. That's pretty for Valentine's Day. Coasters, empty box. Oh. Do you see what I see? That says Jim Shore on it. $3.99 is the kind of price I love to see. It is a, like a fall harvest basket, but it's Jim Shore, so it is worth holding on to until it sells. So that will be the next item in the cart. All right, I do have some exciting news to share about the Good Stuff Thrift Store. Uh, I found out today we've got our sign approval. So now, this is cool, antiques. Um, the next step is to get with my sign guy and find out what is the time frame for him to get our sign up because that is when we are gonna schedule our grand opening for. Okay, I need to pull this out and look further. So I'm trying to see how this would hang up because it says antiques clearly this way. And yet, when I come back here, it feels like, I don't know what it feels like. It's not really meant for hanging. So what would you do? Would you just put it up on a shelf and have the antique? I don't know. There's something screaming at me. I need to buy it though. So this I'm gonna use up on my stage boutique somewhere, somehow. So today was a good day. Got a lot done, got a lot planned out. Sometimes it just feels good to get things planned out. Did you think to pray? Oh, every day, every day. This is a pretty little melon shaped piece of glass. It's not high end, but it's pretty. Sometimes pretty can sell all on its own. It doesn't have to be high end. And sometimes it needs to be higher end in order to bring the price that makes it worthwhile to sell. And then, I try to share with you the difference in the things that I'm picking up to resell. Whoops, it just slipped right out of my hand. Come here, little chicken. Chicken do little. Arlene Ceramics. Mary Kathy Audrey, $1.99. Cute, but you know what? We're gonna leave you for now. Not really the type of thing I'm looking for tonight. Trying to set my sights towards eBay now and really trying to think what would go on eBay because if it goes on eBay well then it's also really good for my live sales. It just helps boost everything up if I keep my eye on things that would be good for eBay. Halloween, we don't want to think about Halloween yet but we will look at this little swirly pot. Oh it's blue tagged so it'd be half price. It's kind of pretty but it's newer. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ooh, lemons. That's kind of a vibrant, pretty. Oh, it's melamine. It's blueberry cove. Blueberry cove melamine. And it's $1.99. And I feel like that is a great piece for $1.99. I'm going to grab it. Ooh, who are you, 
little owl. You are not very high-end either. You're like a Hobby Lobby type piece. For $6. I think we will leave you. Look it up to see if there's any good baskets. There's lots of baskets, just not very many good baskets. It's a nice piece of silver plate. It's got a nice patina on it. It's pageant Holmes and Edwards super plate. Oh, it's super plate. Excuse me. It's not, it's not really my thing, but I do like to look. I like to look because as I'm editing, I look some things up and make sure I'm not passing up something like very valuable or at least I want to know so that I can tell you guys, you know, that it's valuable the next time I run across it. These are interesting little... $37 is what somebody had on that. Those are kind of nice. Kind of nice. Right. This little airplane's cute. I feel like we saw one of these at another Goodwill recently. And uh, it was missing some, some of its parts. It's cute. I don't think it's that old. It's like, it's like a home goods decorative piece. And therefore, we shall leave it and go look at vases and candle holders and such and see if there's anything exciting in the mix tonight. Okay, so far, not seeing anything. Was this a candle holder made out of an old primitive spool? It is. That's kind of, it's kind of fun. $2.99. I kind of wish I hadn't done that. Somebody told me about something where you could take a piece off that's that's been done to you because I like the spool itself the spool is really cool the spool is really cool I just realized how that rhymed I think I'm gonna leave it if there was a couple of them together to make kind of a display I would do it but what do you do with just a single just a single like that it always kind of perplexes me so for tonight I'm not going to deal with that I'm going to be good and I'm going to be picky and I wish this wasn't $7.99 but these Inkle I almost said music box uh, jewelry boxes can do quite well and this is the story of the sand dollar I know it's eight dollars but I feel like this is a twenty to twenty five dollar piece so for that reason I'm gonna go ahead and pay that eight dollars and then we have a little corn terrine made in Japan does have some pretty sizable chipping so we're gonna leave it as much as I would love to rescue it and this piece looks like kind of a student piece so we'll leave that one not as much of a student piece as that one though I will I will just say that what is this little terrain Arius Arius However you say that, with veggies. Hmm. Not exciting me. Oh my goodness, there are some very unhappy children in here tonight. I don't even know if that's coming through. Oh look, this is Fred's. This is Fred's little mug that he made. That is, here, Fred, you deserve to have your mug right there. Yes, I'll go back and look at the bird. It's a terracotta Avon piece. And then we've got a little Hello Kitty. Are you a bank? No, you're just a thing. You're just a thing. Just a thing. What are you? You're just a thing too. Everything's just a thing, really. Oh, clearance. All right. Sometimes things can be good and sometimes things can be, you know, mediocre. That is a, a little salt lamp thing of it. Oh, 25. No, oh, thank you for 25. What are you? Just beads. And then we've got some lemons. Oh, that reminds me. I've got to go pick the lemons off my tree. I've got real lemons on my trees that I need to go pick. I need to pick them. I don't want them to rot on the on the twigs, on the twigs, on the branches. Why does that strike me as vintage right there? Is it? 
I don't think so. I think it's just a Rubbermaid. I was talking to somebody the other day. When does Rubbermaid get the uh, same kind of cloud as Tupperware? When does Rubberware, Rubberware, when does Rubbermaid become vintage? You gotta know. You gotta know. Maybe never. Maybe it just won't. Maybe it just won't get the same opportunity to shine because, well, it's just Rubbermaid. Kind of feel bad for it. It's served its purpose for many years now, too. Oh, we've got some very, very loud music behind us. This little plate down here is calling to me. Let me move these over a little bit here. Get down to this piece. Look at this piece. Look at that. If that doesn't scream 60s, 70s, I don't know what does. Hmm. I feel like we're on a theme here tonight. For $3.99, I'm going to grab it. Saw this little piece too. The little roses in it. 78? 1978? Just not. I mean, it's not worth a whole bunch. Schoenfeld's. USA made after the time of dishwashers because it does say dishwasher safe. That is a key, a key point in uh, dating that piece. All right, plates, plates, plates. Any other mid century would be nice. Strawberries, who makes you strawberries? Oh, Avon, little Avon, Avon plate. Yeah, we've got some silverware. Oh, that's very thin, very, very not, very not high end. Okay, this is intriguing. Who makes these plates? Oh, there's like four different types of plates all bundled together. Oh, is that that? Oh, it's Royal Dalton. It's Royal Dalton uh, Pacific. I mean, are they all Royal Dalton Pacific? Now I'm intrigued. Oh, because there's more. Stand by. Let's see. Let's move you over. Now let's move you over so I can move some Royal Dalton. Oh, hi, chickens. Hi, chickens. Johnson Brothers chickens. Those are kind of cool, too. Okay, I'm trying to move over the dinner plates so I can get to the smaller plates here. Let's see. Royal Dalton. 15. Okay, I'm going to look this up. I'm going to look up Royal Dalton. Pacific and see if we found something good. Well, bummer. I mean, they are good. Like the, each plate sells for about 10 to $12. So that would be like $40, you know, for a set of four, but I can't pay 20 to sell them for 40. That just doesn't work. But I, I'm really sitting here contemplating getting these for my own home personal plates because I, I do kind of love them. I mean, they're great. They're all these mixy matchies. And I really, really love the paint splatter ones. I don't, I don't, I don't need to though. I don't need to. How cute is this guy? What an adorable little bunny pot holder. Mm. I know this is where I fall apart. This is where I fall apart, but you know what? It's only a dollar. It is only a dollar for all of those cute little bunny pot holders, and I feel like uh, Easter will be here before we know it. Cuteness, it just gets me every time. I cannot, I cannot resist cuteness. Handmade gray fox pottery. That's a Minolta, kind of a trophy mug. If the company is well known enough, somebody who collects that company's advertising stuff would be interested in a piece even though it seems like very very personal oh i don't see anything in the mugs tonight let's see if there's anything in the glasses tonight uh, what are you marilyn monroe Mar oh she's all scratched up probably came in a set of four a set of four marilyn's and this is Oh, Michu Michuacan uh, Restaurant. I'm probably saying that completely wrong. Forgive me. And let's 
see anything else. Nope. I think we're getting out of here with no glasses tonight. All right, let's see what we got here. I do like these little jars, like putting them like that, put something cute in them. Oh, look at this, look at this mug. It's a Burton and Burton Leapin' Lily from 2007. Oh, see, again, I can't resist the cuteness. And a 2.99, that's not too bad. And then there was some celery, celery salt and pepper shakers. What just kills me though is they price them separately. So that would make it $6. I can't do $6. They're only going to sell for 10 to 12. So no can do. Had it been $3 for the set? Yes, I could do. Absolutely could do that then. It's the life of a reseller. Sometimes you just have to pass by really cool stuff. Oh my gosh. Hold the fort. I just realized what this plate is that's in my cart. That is the underplate to that terrine right there. That's what it is in B. So let's see how much you are. $14.99. <gasps> no, 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 no. I feel really bad separating them. But you know what I'll do is I will, uh, I, I may come back on uh, senior day and come grab it for 40% off so that I can keep it with its friend. We'll just, we'll hold on to that little underplate and we'll see. I just, I don't see anybody paying $14.99 for that. It's, I mean, it's going to take somebody with a discount to purchase that piece. So we'll see. This uh, Goodwill is not very far from my store. That's why I, I come here. So it's a very strong chance I may end up with it. It's a happy anniversary, 1994 pretty little hand-painted plate. Okay. I would be scared to plug that in. Anybody else would be scared to plug that in? I mean, that's that's very vintage. That is a uh, non-polarized plug. Age in that a bit. And uh, if you've ever watched This Is Us, you wouldn't use that thing. You just wouldn't. Mm, it's a cute little bucket. I like using buckets like this as display pieces, you know, just to put some little loose things in. So I think I'm going to pick it up for that purpose to use down at the store. They just work really good and they look good mixed in with stuff. What in the world is that? A little squishy. Ooh. I don't know what you call those, but I don't know. I just got an ooh feeling. I do not like the texture of that at all. Do not like it. I see tomatoes on handles. Is it a tomato slicer? It would appear to be a tomato slicer. That's kind of cool. We don't slice tomatoes. I'm not a big tomato fan. I don't think the kids like tomatoes either. So no need to have a tomato slicer if we don't like tomatoes. I do find some good things in the crafty section of this Goodwill pretty often. Hi. Well, hello self-stick press on something oh my goodness my uh my trying to use uh the wall stick them up decal stuff did it was a complete failure complete waste of money i'm so bummed but i guess it was worth a try so yeah we just broke down and painted today just got it done look at this vintage hawaii photo album wow that's an oldie and it's in its original packaging for $3.99, I am going to pick that up. Oh, I used to pick up a lot of puzzles that were like sealed like this. This one's pulling me because it's a television history. And I see all of the famous television stars and shows. And Man, it's all represented in here. Look at that. There's even some Daisy Dukes and Mr. Rogers and MASH, Love Boat. Oh my gosh, there's my, there's my crush right there. Randolph Mantooth in Emergency 51. Okay, how much is this? $4.99? What year is this from? Let's see, 2015. So it's a 2015, just bringing back all those TV shows, but it's kind of cool, right? 
it's kind of a cool puzzle. Would I ever do it? I probably wouldn't. I probably should leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. But boy, that brought back some memories. Oh, sometimes it's just better to leave stuff because you know you're not gonna get to it. And it probably doesn't have enough resale value being it's not like an old puzzle, so. Yeah, let's see. This, see, this would also make like a good container. For, oh, it was $5? Goodwill has it at $5.99. Hmm. Riddle me this. Riddle me that. Who am I to judge? All right, anything in the mishmash? Ooh, that looks like uh, old country roses on the handle there. Ooh, and they knew that because it's uh, seven ninety nine. It is. It does say Royal Dalton under there too. But yep, nope. Can't do eight dollars. Looks like the stores are getting ready to have a red tag sale. I'm seeing a little bit more of the red tags being priced and then they put them at half price for their sale there's like there's floof jmb designs oh feathered attitudes a real person is a young person wondering what the heck happened okay all right all right pumpkins no leave the pumpkins what are you peeking out over there little soapstone rhino you do have a broken horn though that's some um, very very sad hopefully somebody will still love him and give him a good home mishy mash mishy mash mishy mash Ooh, vibrant yarn is that old yarn i don't know if that's old yarn it looks like red heart super saver yarn yeah. somebody will snap that up what are you, little chicken? What is going on under here? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see if we've got anything here. Bingo! I've never gone and played like, like professional bingo. I don't know if that would be fun or not. Maybe I should do it sometimes. Are you, you are, what, a moosh, a moosh moosh? So it's not a squishmallow, it's not a squish, it's not a anything, it's a moosh moosh. Behind every great woman is herself. Ooh, I really like that. I really like that a lot for $1.99. Because you know, at the end of the day, if you don't drive yourself, it doesn't matter how much anybody else drives you. You gotta, you gotta be your own person. I spot a bird. Ooh, it's not a very nice feeling pillow. It's just not. Wow, they just really don't have a whole lot of pillows. They've got all of these. I don't even know what these are. What are these? Standard fiber bedding something, but we don't know what they are. They're just like bed pads. Interesting. I like their blue tag. They've been here a while and they have a lot of them. What are you? Little uh, pink tiger. You came from Ikea. Not a bad thing. How much are you? $4.99? I don't know. I don't know if you're worth $4.99 to me. I kind of think you're not. Not tonight. Some bright tie-dye napkins here that caught my eye. Handmade dolling by Julie. Hmm. They're a little intriguing. I do. I am a fan of the tie dye. I'm a, I'm a fan. But I think I'm going to leave those tonight. Oh, even though I'm getting into the blue ones now. Oh. Oh, a little hard. A little hard to pass by. But we can. We can do it. We can do it. More blue. Oh. Still hard to pass by, but I'm gonna do it. What does those say? RMHC. I don't know what RMHC is. Hmm. All right. Tablecloth. Table we need a red tablecloth down at the shop. We need a red tablecloth. Really, 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 really bad. So I may pick one of these up. C 
see if we've got any plush worthy of our attention tonight. So we've got a koala with another koala. It's kind of cute. Oh, little bear. Hmm. No, no. I have so much plush to process through now. I'm only buying extra super special plush. Look at this lamp I just found. It is a, it's like a Chinese food carryout. And it's new in the package. Now it is a blue tag, so it is only $6.50. I do believe I will be picking that up. And we'll look on the other side of the toys here. See if there's anything we can't live without. But I don't see anything. I don't see anything. Except maybe this guy who is a folk menace. Raccoon puppet for $3.99. See if we've got anything over in the lamps. Nope. Nope, not tonight. And that's okay. Let's take a peek in the art. Squad goals. <laughs> hmm. Looking for something that just really calls me and says, look closer, like <gasps> Mickey Mouse. They're just little canvas prints. $2.99. I do need to like start getting ready for another Disney sale, but I really, again, I'm looking for higher end than stuff like that. I have some really nice like hoodies and other clothing type things that I'm going to be doing. But uh, I need some like, I don't know, some high-end Disney figurines or high-end Disney collectibles. Gotta be on the hunt for those. But now that I'm yard sailing every Saturday morning again, I am sure that I am gonna spot some really good stuff soon. All right, let's take a peek through the purses. See if there's anything that grabs our attention. Oh, like that really nice fossil purse that I found last night. If you missed that video, that uh, was the video right before this one. I found a super nice leather fossil purse. And wallet, and wallet. That is crocheted. That is crochet. It's almost like homemade crocheted. That's intriguing. $6.99. I don't know if I like it $6.99 worth, but I, I do really kind of like that purse. I feel like, I feel like I need to get this purse. I, I don't know why. I'm just feeling like I do. All right, I think that's going to do it for me tonight. Stay tuned. I'll give you a recap of everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth on the resale market. That's coming up right now. bummer there at the end as I was just finishing up at the register um, the the uh, Incole uh, jewelry box got pushed off the counter on the floor it was like ah yes they break <laughs> but uh, 
other than that, pretty happy with my purchases. And uh, we're going to go home now and uh, settle in and relax for the rest of the evening, which is always a joyous thing. And uh, come back and uh, stay tuned. I did go look at two more houses today, and I think one of them I'm going to end up with. So if you want to follow that story, be sure that you are subscribed and have a little bell notification set to uh, come back and find out what's happening next in the life of the niche lady. Now with that, you go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.